Today's video is all about choosing the right guinea pig for you. Whether you're looking for getting another piggy for your already existing herd or you're looking for your first pair of guinea pigs, choosing the right fluff ball for you is very important. Guinea pigs live with you for 6 to 8 years, so you'll be spending a lot of time together. So let's look into some factors that are very important when choosing a guinea pig. Health. If you adopt a guinea pig from a rescue, the guinea pigs are usually not sick as they're checked out beforehand. However, it also always makes sense to look out for any bald spots except for behind the ears, the spot is always bald, or any black spots in a guinea pig's white fur and white spots in a guinea pig's black fur. A new home environment or a new herd member is a stressful situation for everyone involved and stress spreads mites and fungal infections to other piggies and unfortunately makes existing ones worse. So always be on the lookout for these signs as well as excessive scratching as mites and fungus can easily infect your other piggies. If you get a guinea pig from a pet store, which I wouldn't advise, I'd recommend adopting a piggy from a rescue. Make sure that the cages look clean, all guinea pigs appear active and make sure that there aren't any signs of extreme stress. If you see extremely fast breathing, wide open eyes so that you see lots of white in the piggy's eyes and lots of tension and fighting in the group, I'd stay away from this. Or at least be careful about introducing this piggy to existing herd members without a long quarantine period. Personality. This is my favorite category. Look out for a piggy's personality to find out whether they really fit. Do you already have an existing herd? Then it depends on whether you're looking for a leader or one that will easily integrate into your herd. Dominant piggies are rumble strutting a lot, get the best pieces of food and everyone clears the way if they want something. Those piggies will often make excellent leaders if you only have shy piggies. A guinea pig that will easily fit into an already existing herd is usually not rumble strutting, stays away if a more dominant piggy chases the other piggies and just generally appears very content. A good leader for a group of rather dominant piggies is a hard find. Here rescues can often advise you really well as they know all of their different rescue pigs. A good leader easily integrates into groups, keeps the peace and feels comfortable in different groups without causing bite marks on any of the piggies. If you don't already have an existing herd, you can solely look out for a guinea pig personality that you like. Guinea pigs that come up easily or that can be seen exploring something are usually very curious and in my experience easier to tame. Guinea pigs who hide and seem scared might take longer to tame but they also might turn out to be extremely loyal. Some of my shyest guinea pigs that took the longest to tame eventually became the tamest out of all of them. However, if you don't have a lot of time on your hands for taming, an already curious guinea pig might be a better fit for you. If you really want to spend a lot of time with your piggies, a shy guinea pig could easily be a very good choice for you. Fur type or breed. This may come as a surprise, but a guinea pig's fur type is an important thing to consider. Long-haired guinea pigs often need more care than short-haired breeds. Their fur needs regular trimming and you need to check more often whether there are any knots starting to form that you need to cut off. Short-haired guinea pigs, on the other hand, often only need their nails trimmed, so their care takes less time and effort. If you have little time or don't like guinea pig maintenance tasks, a short-haired guinea pig might be a better choice. It also might make sense to take into account where you live. If it gets very hot in summer and you don't have air conditioning, a guinea pig with thinner fur might suit you better than one with thick and wool-like fur. American or British short-haired guinea pigs might have it easier in summer than Himalayan Rex or Swiss Teddies. Some people also say that certain breeds come with certain characteristics. Abyssinians can be bossy and friendly, Rex piggies are super nice and gentle, and Swiss teddies are very calm and laid back. Some of these sayings are just that, they're just sayings. But some of them really are characteristics of breeds. However, while most Swiss teddy piggies might be super calm, you still might end up with one that just didn't get that memo and is completely different than any other Swiss teddy. 
So it's always wise to observe a guinea pig's interaction to see whether it really fits and not just rely on any breed stereotypes. Intuition. Bear with me, this one is a bit extra. I always feel like love at first sight or a gut feeling are super important factors as well. While you cannot easily describe these feelings, sometimes you just see a guinea pig and you know that it will fit into your herd, home and heart. Obviously, that doesn't mean to completely ignore common sense and introduce a guinea pig with an active fungus infection into your herd of 10 healthy guinea pigs, but sometimes you just see a guinea pig and know. While some guinea pigs will be lucky to go through life with little to non health problems, others will face an extremely time consuming and expensive illness. It's way easier to find fun and happiness in the hard part of guinea pig care if you already feel extremely bonded to your little friends. Your intuition will also tell you whether it makes sense to stop an introduction or not. Sometimes you just have a gut feeling that a guinea pig introduction won't work out and you might stop that introduction a little bit sooner than you would have an introduction with a guinea pig where your gut tells you it might work out. When it comes to guinea pig care, sometimes your experience tells you something. Listening to your intuition can be very important in determining whether a guinea pig will fit to you and your herd. These were a couple of things to look out for to find the right piggy for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time.